Hello everybody and welcome to Project Proxima. I'd like to thank the developer Luna Apps for giving me a free key off of the good old Twitterverse uh, to, uh, to to give the game a shot. Space horror is like one of my favorite genres, so I I, I have pretty high hopes for this. A destination is reached. I hope it's I hope it's like it's like a coffee shop because I really want some coffee. So tired. Begin search for habitable zones. Alright. Easy objective to kind of understand. Ship door. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> it's somewhere outside of the ship. Alright. And just kind of <laughs> walking around, pushing all the buttons. I figure this is what I would do for real. Alright, terminal. Safety manual. When the ship is damaged, exit the cabin through the door, repair effective panel on outside of the ship with your torch. Seems pretty simple. Navigate to a planet using the control panel. Fire at any asteroids along the path and scan the planet in the observation deck above. Use your space and shift thrusters to move around the ship. Space to go up, shift to go down. Add fuel to the warp cores, and here is our mission. Thirteen vessels have been sent to nearby star systems. So look for habitable planets. You've been assigned System S. We're looking for carbon life forms and planets that consist of oxygen. Report results back to System P. If a habitable planet is found, its colony or the colony will be handed for your way. We thank you for your service. Ugh, hate that. Like the, the thank you for your service. God, I just hate it. I just hate the thank you for your service. It's so annoying. All right. Um, okay. Well, let's figure out where. I don't know where we are. We'll, we'll just imagine we're here. So we got. I think I'm this little dot. Let me do this one first. Two or two. Two eighty six and two eighty one. An object in observation bay. And that's actually not too. That's that's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. As far as it goes for um, movement on the map, I thought for sure that this little dot here was me, but I guess not. All right, where's the observation deck? There you go. It is 60% water, 30% methane, 10% ammonia. I'm, I'm assuming that counts as scanning. Oh, it is scanned. Alright, next one is... 339 and 698 oh, There's something here. Wonder what it is. It's just a question mark. What do we have here? It's like the Voyager space probe. Hello. Hello.
I realize I'm not like doing an amazing job to get where I need to go. Three thirty one and seven oh nine. Three thirty one seven oh nine. Apparently, I'm not quite where I need to be. Yeah, movement, I mean, the game is very similar in movement. 329, 685. I feel like the answer can't like, is it really going to be this asteroid? No, there's no way this is it. Jeez, okay, well that was obviously the wrong thing to do. Seems like a terrible way to just put all the solar panels on the side like that. I know that space is pretty big and the odds of hitting something are pretty small, but man, it just it feels like that might be uh, a very bad design of, of where to put it for real, you know, like that. Not a big deal, but. Dang, I still, I still officially haven't found it. It's, it's definitely 700. And in maybe 350, 330. Wait, what? No, 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 no. Oh, man, I'm so... St I, I don't... I Apparently, I, I was looking at this the wrong way. I was doing Y then X instead of X, Y. I'm actually very uh, embarrassed. Is it? I've taken calculus. Now you know what I did. I did okay. Like I mean, I I passed it. It's like an eighty something. So it was a B. All right. So it is. in the 300 range. Now, even though I do the, I've said this is similar to Iron Lung, I will say that the control scheme, having a map that works as, that, as this does, uh, it's, it's much, much easier. Oh, 50% water, 30% methane, 20% ammonia. Yeah, okay, still not finding the kind of planets we're hoping to find. Oh. The ship's having a little bit of problems. You know, I just noticed there's like nowhere for me to go and sleep. Like, I wonder if I'm a robot. I feel like I must be a drone. Alright, and then we've got... Probably, I don't know, 525, maybe 525, 475. Needs like a little bit of creepy music playing in the background. Maybe like some just some music, just some, like some piano or something. Uh, 
Like some Mozart or something. What is this? There's something here. Oh, it's an asteroid. We don't need to go and look at those. Those are obviously... Bad choices. I was gonna say, there's like nothing here. There's, there's a... Man, that's interesting. I must, um... I must not be exactly where I'm supposed to be. Oh, no. Uh, we found it. There's nothing there. False alarm. Alright, six... 8500 <laughs> What kind of cool planet will we find? What do we have? Oh, look, it's a planet with rings. 60% hydrogen, 30% helium, and 10% iron. Eh. I'm just going to say that this um, space travel in the game uh, is far more enjoyable here um, than it is in a game like Starfield, which is boring as crap, so... What, what just hit me? Oh my god, we got hit by a rock, an asteroid. Oh, it's the same panel. Like, asteroids really hate this panel. The asteroids are like, screw you. In particular panel, this very specific panel. I feel like this might not have been, like, the best choice, like, waking up at 4 o'clock in the morning and jumping into this game, but it's okay. Uh, 320 and a thousand. Peace. All right, we get a question mark. All right, what could it be? Ooh, I, you know, maybe it's a, that, that probe again. Maybe it's going to say hello again. It is the probe of the key. What are you talking about? I mean, before they said hello, and now they're saying the key. Is it the same one? I feel like it might not be the same one. I can't tell, actually. I'm really not sure. There's only a few planets left in this system, so our adventure is coming to an end very soon, I think. I've been a pretty successful space explorer, though. This reminds me of a very old game that I think very few people are going to remember, but it was called Noctis. Um, it was kind of like Space Engine, in, in that you just flew around space, but it had like the same graphical style. It was super awesome. Like, I mean, it was it was just really cool to fly around space and and everything. But yeah, it's it's one of those games. I think it's. I feel as though it's somewhat lost to time. I'm not sure I can fit through here. Oh, I did. Look at that. I am. You know what? I'm a. I'm a fantastic astronaut pilot. So you know, like if SpaceX gets to the point where they're actually sending people over the, to Mars and stuff, I could use this video and say, "Look, I'm essentially an astronaut. I mean, I can. I can totally do it. Forty percent iron, forty percent nickel, and twenty percent sulfur." Only two more planets. 
662 and 1140. It's almost like a straight shot. I kind of wish the controls uh, for this were a little bit differently placed because then I could see uh, the map a bit easier. And still see, you know, like where I'm going. But I think that's part of the, the allure here is like you you're, you don't know what you're looking at. You're going to get surprised. Oh. Oh my god, that's a, that's a spaceman. Oh, God, let's see if we can save him. Because it seemed like they only put one of us in each spaceship. Okay, well, uh, that dude is um, just going to have to float away. Yeah, those weird space whale things are... Oh. That's cool. I didn't know that those things were actually giving you stuff. One, four, seven, five, two, three. Yeah, I don't know what those numbers are. The numbers can be creepy, so... I feel like there's another one probably somewhere. Oh well, I'll just... What the power's off? Come on. Don't break on me now, ship. We're almost there. Seven hundred and thirteen hundred. Okay, this seems like a very bad choice. I, I don't know if it's like radiation, if it's um I don't know what it is actually. I don't wanna go I don't wanna go in here. I feel like this is um just a bad choice. Oh well, spaceman's gotta do what spaceman's gonna do. What? That, 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 that. The observation deck is broken. Interesting. Oh my god. Oh, that. Okay, didn't see that coming. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and the space the space monster did not get me a bad ending. Because do I have to find all the secrets? Is that what I need to do to get like to do it? Oh. Well. Pretty crazy, I guess. Um, yeah. Well, anyway, it was a good experience. I'm going to do it again, I guess. <laughs> Let's try to get the good ending. Um, but yeah, I, I think I'm going to stick with the bad ending because yeah, I don't know that I can pull off the surprise the second time. But that's Project Proxima. Quite enjoyable title. Um, if you liked Iron Lung, I think you'll like this. I mean, especially if you prefer space to like underwater. And yeah, thanks for watching. Link is in description if you'd like to try it yourself.